Hello everybody and welcome back to the walkthrough first castle of level 3 Prince Froggy. Well, I guess it's the fourth, not a castle, but details. <laughs> it's Prince Froggy's fort and it's got a lot of side paths, basically. You can go to the boss relatively easily by just taking a really straight route to where you need to go, but other than that, it's uh... The, the, the main thing about this is that there's all sorts of hidden stuff. And remember I said that there's there's some there's sometimes stuff hidden within the, the, the thorners of instant kill? Yep. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh, and there's a door. <laughs> you best do that door before we go to any other area or we will regret it. Because there is some sort of mandatory hidden stuff over here, so let's just take a look-see around here, and I'll go around with the flow of these spike balls, I guess. There we go. I can't, like, not do that, after all. I just gotta get the red coins. Alright, and we're done. Eee! <laughs> there wasn't really much there, but... It only takes missing one red coin to ruin a run of 100%. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, we can now go on ahead and play this level normally-ish. <laughs> but well, I guess normal in this walkthrough is 100%, so... Ah! So I guess that was as normal as it gets already. Uh, I guess it didn't matter if I took a hit there, I didn't have any other stars anyway. <laughs> uh, wait, I want to see if there's... Okay, I just wanted to see if there's anything hidden in the corner of the backtracking, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm just trying to remember stuff in this castle here, like where there might be other stuff hidden. Like, this, like all these doors you're going to see along the way like this, optional, basically, unless you're going for 100%. Other than that, since I am, you know, you gotta kinda, gotta look through all of these and see what is hidden underneath all of this stuff here. And I'm just gonna do those really quick first. Um, I think that's for another door, if I recall correctly. Uh, cause see, these are all, all like individual rooms for various things, basically. So, we're gonna see all these rooms eventually, just not in this first door. <laughs> So I just got to go through all the doors as you go along the way and just make sure that you're not missing anything like any sort of say underwater passageways and stuff. Ah! Well, <laughs> anyway, yeah, you get you get the idea. So that's one cleared out and hopefully they will all go as smooth as that. Maybe smoother, you know, but like by not taking a hit. Ah! Well, that's that's a total waste. <laughs> Can I get, yeah, I was gonna say, can I get a red coin out of that? I think it was one right in the center, and I was correct. And this is just here to stall you from that spike ball. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going there, my fishy friend? Perhaps not that good since you're not doing your job as ordered by Kemek. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know your relationship with Kemek. Maybe, maybe he's more lenient than he appears to be. Oh, that was nice! <laughs> Can I go under here? No, okay. Optional door number two! <laughs> well, not so optional if you're going for 100%, as I said. So yeah, we're gonna go up a couple more levels, too, to go to the other doors. But now you hit this bucket off like so, and you can push yourself in said bucket by holding a direction on the D-pad, and you could use it as a bolt. It's incredibly slow, but you might want to practice this, because you're going to need to do this when you are uh, using this to get across lava. <laughs> so, yeah, just, just just give this a little bit of a practice run here for the future, because they, they won't be so kind in the future. <laughs> uh, that's probably stars. Oh, it's a one-up. I thought it was going to be stars. No, 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 no. Haha. <laughs> Alright, we're good. This place seems all cleared out. And we're off! Uh, Yoshi has digested the watermelon completely between transitions. It is sad. It is sad. And this is another thing you should be practicing. Are these uh, carousels that you control with weight. So when you're on the right side of it and you, sp ah! you spin it forward, or at least this one here, you'll, you'll spin it in the direction that you want it to be. 
and to go the other way, you just jump on the other side, of course, and just go on them in th this sort of rhythm like before. Uh, flower? Nice. Let's move this on forward. I don't know if it'll despawn if I don't move it forward, that's why I'm kind of kind of just doing this for the sake of doing this. You could actually do this a whole lot faster just by not using this, but then you wouldn't be able to get up there to that flower and stuff like that without... Ah! Eat! Without bu using a bunch of eggs, and then just just ah, and just shooting them down. Well, except for the stars, you have to wait until those hop down on their own. But yeah, um, there we go. And and woo! <laughs> there's more. A Prince Froggy's Fort, though. We're going inside, and there's more alternate routes incoming here too. This is saying like, hey, yeah, jump over this crab. Here, here, here. There's not a lot of room otherwise to jump. Oh, last for a coin, really? Well, what was that other spiky area? Was that for like another? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> All right, we're good. But yeah, was that this other spiky area like what this door leads to? I could have swore it. It was like an optional door place thing. Maybe not. Uh, we're gonna see more of those lemon drops that you've seen over at the. Um, uh, the, fir the first big boy bosses fourth in World 1, you know, Salvo the Slime. Yeah, they spawn over here for some reason. Yeah, so you gotta, gotta be looking out ahead, of, well, looking out for any sort of obstacles. And I, I, they, they sneakily put them right- oh jeez! They sneakily put them right over that bar over there, which makes it difficult to aim, which isn't too shabby of enemy placement, really, because it is possible to get those suckers out of your way, and then shoot that in time, like I tried doing before, but for some reason my egg went right through it. At least I think I hit. I just realized I messed that up. <laughs> so I guess those spiky things right there were indeed for the, um, um, the second level of this, so it wasn't an optional route. This is all, this is mandatory stuff. Uh, oh wait, this is back over at the lower level. I, that's right, I didn't get the midpoint after I went through the middle of the castle. I got it when I went through the lower portion. The upper portion was uh, the spot that I messed up at. <laughs> Alright, there's my last red coin. Let's bait that other crabber out. Hi, hi. Hey, yes, yes, I'm, I'm here, you can you can attack me. <laughs> you notice I'm trying to make it go faster by being close to, closer to it. Oh, and also, um, I didn't really show this before, but uh, if you get close enough to it, it will try and... Yeah, <laughs> it can also slam the ground with its claw, like that, so that's it's another sort of motion, but they, they both have about the same attack range, uh, basically, so... Yeah, it's just a matter of leading them out of your way in this particular area. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> let's open this up. And technically you don't need any of these bridges here, as you can just hover, like, oh, I mean, uh, flutter jump over everything. But I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Okay, I got, they're not spawning above that upper area there this time, that's okay. I will accept that. They, they spawn at all sorts of random spots. Uh, I'm gonna do a deflection there, there we go. And yeah, it's just a little bit too steep of an angle, I think, for me to hit it from where I am standing. I could be wrong about that though, but I also might be able to, to hit it like at about that angle, like bouncing it off of this, and hitting it directly down into that flower, but... Well, <laughs> but well. Well, no, <laughs> not gonna bother. Just do it the way that I feel comfortable doing it with a nice, low, comfortable attack. By the way, if you get knocked off this by uh, one of those lemon drops, you're gonna probably fall into those insta-kill spikes. So don't let that happen if you can help it. All right, midpoint. Looking good. No, you don't. <laughs> I say, no, you don't. I say, no you don't! Alright, now, I believe I'm at every... What? What? That can't be. That can't be. <laughs> um... Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> That's not a flower that I can collect. 
I don't think that there was a flower in this run here, because there's like a little, there's like a little extra run between you and the boss here. But yeah, there's, there's not really anything. Huh, where did I miss a flower? Great job, Yoshi! Now you'll be Froggy's lunch! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, what, but what the heck is this thing? You're, you're using the magic on me! Prince Froggy, don't, don't do it, I think you're- oh! You did what I thought you were going to do. You did what I thought you were going to do. So just stand in the middle here. <laughs> this boss is so silly. You got stomach acid coming down, but all you have to do is stand in the middle. You you will not be hit by anything, just to, you know, other than the shy guys. But you want to eat them and then throw it at that. I believe it's called a uvula or something like that. <laughs> So if we're in its belly, we're, we might be digested if if we don't make it out of here. But we're going to do our best to escape Prince Froggy's belly. And then locate wherever that other flower was. I don't really know where I missed the flower. All I know is I missed the flower. And you notice that the belly gets redder and redder as you go, and the stomach acids, they get more and more intense, but they never really fall over at the very center where I'm standing over here, you know, where this little, uh, we'll just call it an exit tube, is hanging out over here. And, uh, yeah, it eventually turns into rainbow if you keep irritating it enough, and then you get pooped out. <laughs> that is not kid-friendly. <laughs> so, okay, I, I got a flower to look for, I guess. I guess? Maybe I missed it in that submarine area? I don't know. <laughs> I'll just go through the level again and look for the flowers that I missed while collecting the stuff that I already collected and whatnot. Because that went pretty smoothly overall, I would say, aside from that one flower, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll just say a little something every time I reach a flower, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, definitely no flower in the submarine area, but I did collect those coins again. Hey, wait a second. Did I ever go through this lower door on that? Uh, I did not! Oh! I bet this is... yeah, this is... Um, <laughs> I guess it's a place you need six eggs to do it at, but... Um, yeah, I remember this one, the first hidden door. Yeah, I don't have to show you every flower as I collect them now. Yeah, this is the first... well, not not hidden door, it's right in plain sight, but it's the first door that you come across when you enter the swampy area of the place. And then you go through here. See, I thought what this door was was to take me back to the other area, but it's not. It's just... it's not! It leads to the flower, the last flower, I can't believe I forgot something so obvious. And by the way, don't get too hasty with your eggs. If you hit them while they're flashing, it won't count as a hit. So yeah, you just want to make sure that you get them when they're just finishing flashing or uh, anything after that, because yeah, you're going to be disappointed that you have to go, go ahead and go back and get some more eggs and stuff like that, so... Let's not even cross that bridge if we need, if unless we need to. <laughs> All right, gonna finish the rest of the level. Hopefully, 100%. <laughs> Last red coin. Oh yeah, when you spit out lemon drops, they don't. Well, they don't actually die or anything like that. They just kind of, yeah, they're bouncy. <laughs> they also remind me of Puyo's from, you know, Puyo Puyo, or Dr. Robotnik's Mean Mean Machine, for that matter. Oh yeah, I forgot to check this here too. Uh, oh no 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 no! Well, <laughs> I just wanted to check to see if the, I could actually get. Oh, that would have worked right there, that angle. I wanted to see if at that I could get a ceiling deflection to actually work off that, but eh, well. <laughs> Last red coin again! <laughs> I'm caught mid-tongue! <laughs> oh, I like that. There we go. Alright, here we go. Yeah! Final flower incoming! Yeah! Yes! Oh no! <laughs> Alright, I think we need an encore presentation of Prince Froggy. Don't you agree? I think you'll agree. <laughs> 
Let's go and hop around up here. As it cheats, he just kind of spazzed out a little. I don't know if you've seen that. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Great job, Yoshi. Now you'll be Froggy's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, they imply that, that this whole time that Prince Froggy was going to be bigger, you know, maybe stick his tongue out of the water or something like that at the corner of the screen at you, but no, 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 they shrink you so that you can be eaten by a regular-sized pirate frog. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, but so clever. <laughs> All right, baby, we can do this. As long as we stay in the center, we can do this. By the way, you could also just hold up the whole time, too, and just wait for a shy guy to nearly fall on your head and then just lap it up. Yeah, delicious. Oh, I wonder how smelly it is in here. <laughs> I mean, you've seen all the things those frogs decide to eat. Yoshis, maybe babies. Who knows what else? Maybe Shy Guys, Baby Bowser's diaper. Oof. Oh, that's no. You don't e don't even want to go there. You just do not. No. All right. One hundred percent. Alternate ending. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe I missed that one door. I feel so stupid. <laughs> Alright, 100%. Because, yeah, that's a pretty easy level overall, other than that uh, thorn door. You know, the door that's hidden in that thorn patch way near the beginning. That one had me stumped for quite a while. But when I look back at it, because there's a gap there, it just... It seems more obvious to me than it did when I played this game before. And with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. <sighs>